everybody and welcome to a little sit down coffee chat video all about losing motivation to paint and how we can regain that motivation back so that we can get back on our art journey and start painting again because I know for many of you just like me painting is like a safe haven away from all the anxieties of the of the world and the lives that we live and it's somewhere that we can come to feel accepted. So it's really important that we keep that avenue open for ourselves. So today we're gonna to talk about what happens when we lose that motivation and how we can get it back. So when we talk about motivation, finding motivation, that kind of implies that we've lost it, you know, if we are struggling with motivation, then that probably means that somewhere along the way, something happened which took away our confidence or has taken away that motivation to paint. Um, and very often I find that it can be negative things that impact that. So things such as comparison. If we're comparing ourselves to people online and our artworks, and maybe we feel like our artworks aren't very good, and that can just really bring on that self-doubt, which is another thing that just really saps that motivation to paint. Uh, because we get stuck in that cycle of fear, don't we? There's this cycle of fear where a painting session maybe doesn't go the way we want it to, then we get filled with all these negative feelings about ourselves and our artwork, and then the next time we come to paint, we kind of bring all that baggage with us. We kind of bring all those feelings of disappointment, self-doubt, we kind of bring that to the next painting session. So we're already starting out in that negative uh, place almost. And that's really dangerous for our artwork because it should be, like we've said, a place of creative safety for you. So for me, the step one is kind of realizing what it is that's taken away our motivation in the first place. Because if we are trying to gain motivation to paint, if that issue that took it in the first place is still there. We're just gonna be fighting a losing battle the whole way through. So if we can really uh, work out what it is that's took away our motivation in the first place. So just sit for a few minutes and, and think about what happened in your last painting session or what's maybe caused you to feel like this. And that's like the best place to start. So if you uh, feel like mindset can be a big issue for you in your painting, which I think it probably is for most artists because art always starts with an idea in our mind and so mindset is so important in the way that we approach our artwork. So if you feel like that is an issue for you, I've created a really amazing video that you can go and check the link in the description box. Uh, head to that link, pop in your email and I'll email a link to the video uh, straight to you because in that video, I talk so much about mindset and how we can really conquer that mindset to uh, kind of just create from an authentic place within ourselves. So the second tip that I have for you guys is to have a creative play session. Now this is just a fun place of experimentation, of creative play. And it's, it's not a session where you are gonna create a painting that is gonna be a work of art and that you're gonna pop in a gallery or anything like that. I just want you to take away any pressure from this creative play session. That's why we're calling it a play session. And I just want you to get out whatever materials you want, get whatever colors that you're drawn to, whatever subject you're drawn to, or just create an abstract painting. Like just get stuck in with your supplies and just embrace them as if they're never ending supplies. Just embrace those supplies and, and let the art flow through you to create just whatever you want in that moment. The third tip I have for you guys is to really start carving out your own unique art journey. Because when we are following tutorials online or maybe we have artwork that is very similar to our favorite artists that really inspire us, it is very easy to compare. But if we start creating artwork that is truly unique to you as an artist, it's 
almost impossible to be able to compare that because artwork can be so unique, so different to what anyone else is making. So as soon as we start to embark on that journey, really that's where we can just let go of all those comparisons, self-doubt, all those things that take away our motivation in the beginning. This is the key to really creating an art journey where you don't lack motivation and you don't lose that uh, will to paint because you're creating something so unique that it's impossible to compare that. And this is where I felt really passionate about creating an online course because you guys know that I create loads of painting tutorials and you guys really like that and that's awesome but I, what I want uh, the, the next step to be on from that is for you to really be able to embark on your own creative journey and bring your own creative ideas to life and so this is why I created learn to paint with confidence course and if you would like some more information just go and check out the link in the description box pop your email in and I'll send you loads of information all about the online course if you uh, are a beginner artist and you know you love painting but you're just having trouble going to that next step, I think it will be perfect for you. So I really hope that those tips have helped you out with your lack of motivation for painting. You guys know that I have loads of painting tutorials up on YouTube so I'll pop a link to the playlist and you can go and check all of them out. I'm sure that there's some that you guys won't have done already and I just want you to play some music get your paints out and just have fun painting again because that is what art is there for. Painting is there to have fun, relax, let go and let go of your creative energy with beautiful colours on a canvas. So I hope that really helps you guys. Don't forget to go and check the link in the description box and I'll send you an email with an inspiring video and I hope you have a beautiful day. Thanks guys, bye!